I didn't like the state that my community was in. So me and my brother, we started doing uh, back to school bashes and we did neighborhood cleanups. About two years of us doing that, you know, that's when the tragedy had struck and my brother was killed. You know, I sat down with my daughter at the time. She was about seven or eight years old. You know, I told her that he got shot. And my daughter's response to me was, uh, we gonna shoot them back, right? And in that moment, I seen my whole world crumble. I'm always reminded of Tupac. My guy said, I may not be the one to change the world, but I'll be the one to spark the minds of the ones that do. That's what I hope the legacy is here. My name is Altariq Best. I'm the CEO and founder of The Hub. Help us become better arts and trauma center in Newark, New Jersey. Help us become better was everything that I wanted to do from the very beginning. Everything was always focused on the youth. And then we start realizing through programming that you couldn't help the youth without helping their families. Hearing those things and understanding that, we wanted to expand it into helping a, a holistic view of helping the family, but still a, a concentration and focus on the young people. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the hub is there for the community. Situations do not have to dictate their destination. It can, but it doesn't have to. And we're a part of that solution. You could be a high-risk individual and you're not forgotten about. We've had young people in here doing cosmetology, culinary arts. We utilize the things that they like to utilize them to open up. And when you have them, you can educate them. It shows you that it is possible, that you can be the change that you want to see. When you got that, you know you got something special. I used to use the term, I'm a product of my environment, but now my motivation is to make my environment a product of me. Putting other people first and giving of yourself. I believe at the end, you the outcome will be greater than you ever thought it would be. Our end all be all is for this to outlive our lifespan. Everything that we're doing right now, even this interview that we're doing, it's not for us, it's not for me as an individual, it's for the future. I pray that we will create individuals that think unselfishly enough to invest in other people and just love on people and create those same people to go out there and change the world. I'm Phoenix Crosby, and I'm one of the chief clinical officers at The Hub Arts and Trauma Recovery Center. And I am so excited to talk about the Trauma Recovery Center because it is one of only 100 trauma recovery centers in the whole country, but this is actually the first youth-focused trauma recovery center. So when the youth come in, they're gonna have a completely different feel. There's gonna be uh, various rooms. Some of the rooms are going to have art therapy, so the youth are gonna be able to work through their traumas and utilize healing through art modalities. Another one of the rooms is gonna be a sound room. And basically, we're gonna have sound vibration healing, utilizing singing bowls and other modalities of sound, like drumming, which really helps release a lot of trauma without having to talk through all of the traumas that people have endured. One of the biggest things and the biggest reason why having this trauma recovery center in the city of Newark is that for most of our youth that we see, they're surrounded all the time by chaos. And when it's very chaotic and there's a lot of noise and a lot of trauma that's going on in the street, many times at home, even at school, it's just constant noise. And there, most of the youth that we work with have to be hyper vigilant all the time in order to stay safe. This is a place that they can just exhale and then they actually can connect back to the truth of who they really are. And our practitioners are all trained in these holistic models. And at The Hub Helps, we are dedicated to having no wait lists. The other thing that's really important is regardless of your insurance status, money, that we are going to see you for as many sessions as you need. We are not going to be run by what insurance dictates. So The Hub Helps Trauma Recovery Center is going to be open and available to the youth in the city of Newark for as long as it takes for them to get the healing that they need. I'm Mariel Huffnagel, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer at the Hub Arts and Trauma Center. Newark needs you. 
The Hub Arts and Trauma Center needs you. By investing in the Hub, you are investing in hope, health, and healing. The Hub Arts and Trauma Center is a holistic, innovative sanctuary, providing for the last 17 years a safe place that wraps its arms around Newark's youth, Newark's most vulnerable, in a way that helps them to identify their trauma and heal from it. Through the visionary leadership of Al Tariq Best, our CEO and founder, we have been able to employ education, entertainment, and empowerment as the secret sauce, the studio, podcasting, graphic design, photography and videography, all of which innately have healing powers in themselves. So now we have the youth in our space. This is where we exercise education and ultimately empowerment. So in order for our youth to continue to have access to the entertainment, they need to regularly engage in programming. And that programming focuses on four different types of life skills, and that is maximizing education, career readiness, grooming and self-efficacy, and financial literacy. We require our youth to engage in wellness checks with our social workers and in a restorative healing, restorative justice process through our flagship program, My Thoughts Out Loud, which is a youth-led healing circle that occurs every single day. What we are going to see with the opening of this youth-focused trauma recovery center is a ripple effect of health and healing, not just in our youth, but in their families and in the community at large. I am asking you to invest in the hub. By investing in the hub, you are investing in Newark, you are investing in our kids, you are investing in community wellness, you are investing in hope and healing, and you are ultimately investing in a better, safer future.